the enemies of Nigeria have arrived. Welcome back good people to my channel. If you are new to my channel, please make sure you subscribe. We are in the election period. At this period, if you observe diligently, you can clearly see the people who are the enemies of this country. The people who have sold this country and you can see the people who want this country to work. A few days ago, BON and NEDG, BON for Broadcasting Organization of Nigeria and NEDG for Nigerian Election Debate Group. These two groups are combination of TV and radio owners in Nigeria and they are in charge of the presidential debate. Now, these two groups came up a few days ago and released a list of candidates who are going to be debating at the next presidential election. They picked only five parties and for the five parties, surely APC, Buhari the president representing APC, then Atiku Abubaka representing the PDP, then Feladro Toye representing the ANN party, Obi Ezekweseli representing ACPN party, and Kingsley Mogalu representing the YPP party. And the question everyone is asking is, where is Showare? Where is Showare? Channels TV and other political media athletes in this country did online polls, I think more than twice. And in some instance, Showare's party was ranked the third after APC and PDP. And there was another poll where, where Showare's party was even the second. So it is clear that at this presidential election, the three top parties are APC, PDP and AAC of Showare. Normally, Showare shouldn't even be part of the discussion, considering our history, alright? But this guy has worked so hard to, to put his party up there, above parties of Obiese Kwiseli, Donaduk, and you see, this guy has worked so hard to pitch his party on the third spot. And guess what? Bon and NEDG came out and Showare is nowhere to be found in their list. Now, the chairman of BON and NEDG by the name John Momo is the owner of Channels Television because I told you they are a group of media owners in Nigeria. John Momo, he had no reasonable or sensible explanation to make for why Showare is not on that list. People are asking, what is the criteria that you use to select these five people, that you use to filter the list to five? Release the, what's the criteria? Let's see it. He can't say anything. Speechless. Unofficially, I'm hearing that probably from the NEDG camp or from Momo himself. I'm not sure right now. But someone is saying it's because of the character that uh, Showare's character. What has character got to do with a debate? They are going on a debate. They are not going there to shake hands with each other. They are going there to challenge each other right in front of the world. That's what the debate is meant for. The debate is not supposed to be a meeting. It's not a meeting, it's a debate, it is a challenge. This one against this one, against this one, against this one. So what does character has to do with, has to do with the debate? Debate in any country is always about issue. It's always about what you have to offer. It's always about what, why your opponent should not even be given the chance and why you should be given the chance. In the last American election, Trump had the worst character. No presidential candidate ever had the character Trump had when he was contesting. Trump was outrightly straight. He was saying a lot of things that some people consider as bullshit, but he still went on to say it. He didn't try to impress anyone. He said everything he wanted to do. That character took him straight to the office. And at the end of the day, the Americans decided that someone with this character and with these plans for us goes well, this is the person we deserve and they voted for him and he won. The last presidential debate, one of the candidates was missing and he, the candidate that was missing eventually became the president. According to rumors, I mean, he might also miss this one. From sources in the APC camp, they are saying that the vice president would be representing the president at the debate. There will be a, a vice presidential debate. The, the vice, nobody has to represent anybody. No spokesman, no nothing. 
you are the one that wants to become a president. Come and use your mouth to say what you want to do for Nigerians. A few people have risen up to challenge this unfair exclusion of chivalry. See, people like Obi Ezekwisili. Obi Ezekwisili was involved, but she took to Twitter herself to question why they had to leave out chivalry. So many other concerned Nigerians at home and abroad are asking, why did you leave out chivalry? Protests have started because Shuore must be involved in that presidential debate. And personally, to be real with you, to be real with you personally, I don't think anyone wants to sit down to watch a debate between Baba APC and Baba PDP because I don't know the kind of plans. I don't know. I, I don't know what they want to talk about that will be so captivating that people want to listen to them. But it is a presidential debate. They must come and say what they have in stock for us. I believe BON and NADG are very partisan in this case. This is a presidential debate and if you have to filter people out, eh, let us know the criteria you are using to filter people out. But I know that no matter the criteria they use, if someone like Fela Drotoye, Mogalu, Obeze Kwisili can be involved, then why not you worry? This is the reason why I don't even try to listen to traditional media, channels, CVC, Galaxy. See, these traditional media have been there for long. They have been playing this game for long. These are the same people that the politicians have used to narrow the hope of Nigerians to PDP and APC. These guys have been working for a parties before technology. Eh? Thank God for the technology that we have now that, okay, we now have other means, other parties, the younger candidates now have other, are using social means to interact with their audience. If not, if it were back then, they wouldn't have a chance. They wouldn't even call them for interview. We wouldn't know who is running for who. It's only APC and PDP. The world is watching Nigeria right now. They want to see how we will play out our next election. They want to know if we are ready for the change that we are chanting that we deserve. So I hope uh, John Momo and the crew at NADG BON, I hope they take the right step. I hope they reverse their decision. Traditional medias, you guys do not want to be on the bad side of history. Now that our eyes are opening and eh, we are noting all these things, we are adjusting these things now, we are observing. We are knowing those who are for the betterment of the country and those who are frustrating it. And I know you guys don't want to, don't, you don't want to have that red mark. So that's all about it for this video, guys. If you enjoy this video, if you understand what I'm trying to say, if you feel me, if you can relate, leave a like, drop a comment if you have an opinion, and please share this message on your social platforms, your WhatsApp, your Facebook, your Twitter. Just share this message guys because this is the era of information. You need to don't just consume the information alone. Eh? Spread the information to your people. Let them also benefit. And subscribe if you are new. Subscribe if you are not already subscribed to my channel. The red button is down there. And I'll see you guys in my next video.